Well. I wonder. Uh, they have. Hmm. Look at this. It's a tell. Non gold border. Are they a rogue? Happy Feast of Wintervale. Happy Can you get a necklace? You can get it from the extension. I'm going to coin palm reading, I think. Because if I coin palm reading, I can palm reading again next turn as my two, and then we have a four, which just advances quest, five, six, yeah. This reduced cost is actually really powerful. Trust no one. Yep. Not trust See? No one. Not even me. I was on to them. So tricky. Do I want to just play this now? Because this actually isn't great here. My four is actually kind of bad. Just can also find us a four like Hysteria. Clears one of these as well. Yeah. It's okay. I'll take a raise, Dad. Mm hmm. Good thing to steal, potentially. Hmm. Okay. There, my guy. Okay. Well, we have multiple good fours now. Well, actually, I guess this makes it not a four. This will be a four if we want it. Elec Mount's actually really good in this matchup. We end up still only having this for a four because of this. Yeah, let's take the Elec Mount. Elec Mount with Discount Psyche Split is particularly sick. So now we just need to play a four. This is a four. We also just have... Yeah, you know, utility for not staying on that path. On that path. On that path. Trust no one. Uh-huh. Not trust no one. Trust no one. Not trust no one. Such not beyond me. I have things you never know This is a four. Sure. Just in case. We wanna go like this. Hmm. Can also just Elec mount this guy if they don't kill it. Like, they're not super likely to want to just clear a 1 3. Okay, well, there we go. I guess they're going to do that if it's from the passage. Whoa. Alright. Uh, I don't think it's worth focusing completing the quest. I think the quest is potentially still, like, decent, but it's not what you're really super focused on. You're focused on staying alive. I have things you never knew you So, against the odds is obviously really good against this board. Does not deal with a null though. This is good to deal with scabs, dudes. Keep up the aggression. Uh-huh. Peace out, dudes. is indeed back. Okay. More meat. Do you have this hysteria, fortunately? You can't always trust what you see. So exactly dies to hysteria here, which is great.
cool. Oh god. Am I dead? I'm at 10. That's not great. Okay. Alright. That was... That's a lot of damage, real quick. Wow. Maybe I should have healed myself instead of playing a Korok. I was certainly not expecting to die from 16. Jeez. Alright, well, I hadn't really considered Mr. Smite plus, uh, plus Tenbu plus <laughs> Prep Wicked Stab Burst. Maybe I should have just healed myself, I don't know. I should probably have weapon removal in this deck. Now that I'm thinking about this more. I think I should probably have a way a, a, a viper over something. Maybe I don't bother with the amulet of undying. Seems probably unnecessary. Maybe I should cut that for a viper. I have things you never knew you wanted. I mean, the Death Rattle Pool doesn't matter if I don't have Amulet of Undying in my deck. I'm just Zarellaing, really. I mean, the Hex the hex guy is very good against Knoll, and it's very good against um, pretty much everything in Paladin. So I think Hex guy's good. I, I'm, so, I'm talking about cutting Amulet. I have one copy of Amulet, and I don't think Amulet's that good in the deck, is what I'm saying. Viper's not really that relevant as Paladin. I think, I think for a lot of decks, people vastly overstate the importance of the carry all damage reduction. Like it's it's obviously really valuable in a lot of situ a lot of situations, but it's not like oh you can't beat it because they have that. You know, for most decks, for most like mid range controlling type decks, you end up beating them because you like you know kill their stuff, not because like you race them necessarily. You just have to think about the game differently at that point. And yeah, it's like like I said, it's it's good. Let's try like a palm reading. My hand is too full. Ah, look. Sick card. Mm-hmm. This is where you really want that weapon removal. And, and tech cards, as I was saying before, tech cards do get more valuable in a deck that has the potential to discover anything from its deck. Like the fact that I can... The fact that I can discover the, uh, the Viper in situations where I need it and trade in situations that I don't makes having that style of card much more valuable. I'm going to cut the amulet for it. They're clearly looking to scabs. There's a three. None of these really do anything. I mean, blessing doesn't really accomplish much, but better than these. Scabs, yep. So I play Condemn into Light Shower. Mm-hmm. Am I just dying? Yeah, I'm just dying. Yep, I'm just gonna die to burn, even with the Condemn Light Shower. Yep. And burn to death. Potions blast, be a week, I got it all. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Alright, so, I was already talking about um, wanting to have weapon removal in here before this game. I think it's definitely correct. I think the amulet is overkill, and I think the deck wants a viper. 